Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? We are going to be creating awe and wonder on that stage. It's the first of its kind, absolutely. We are a family. We are a team. You are a small cog in a very big machine. You are not the only cog. If you look at the size of the lighting, the stage you're aware of, there are 400 people behind you. I'm talking to 18 people, right? This has taken six years to realize. The musicians have been working for three years on this. So if you think your part's been hard, it's a small part, okay? So you have a responsibility, not only to yourselves, but to all those people. I've been at all those rehearsals and I haven't seen anything on point yet, right? Which means we've got this week to get everything right. And it's a long journey. So that's why I need for you to get your heads in the game. Okay? In yeah, the beginning, wrong. there was light. My name is Sven Eric Muller. I play light in Iris Warriors. Light usually you see as this like frivolous, kind of innocent, ha-ha, blah, blah, blah. It's light and then darkness is always that interesting one where this character, as Royden was explaining to me, was powerful and strong and there was something in his gaze that was just all-encompassing. And um, <clears throat> I immediately thought, well, this is definitely for me and then got onto the floor. The character definitely enticed me from the get-go. I bring the intensity um, with light. Uh, I feel, definitely when I'm in my vast costume and the, the beauty that that costume is, I feel a very strong sense of energy. And a fantastic experience, um, which I was very proud to have uh, kind of succeeded in. I hope I succeeded in it at least. <laughs> Being on set as an actor, well, a, da a dancer, but you know, also acting is a completely different set of ideals because doing high energy, high intensity, high technical work repeatedly, obviously, because you need to get this shot and that shot and another angle and let's change the lens and let's change the camera. It was exhausting. And so by day two, I walked out of here completely exhausted. I couldn't see myself. I was like, had to be ushered home. Uh, so I think between, between a sugar low and the vertigo from the spinning, I, I had completely bummed out and it took me like three hours to recover from it. But uh, in hindsight, it's a legendary story to tell. <laughs> My name is Cindy Ockers. I play Darkness, the Queen of Darkness. For me, it's quite hard because I have a light energy. So just reading the script and, and you're seeing what darkness is all about, it's quite like dark energy and heavy and lonely and sad and evil. Like it's all like things that I don't really feel. So I really had to like channel it and like try and zone myself out of being myself. Something that I've, I've grown into, like, you know, just trying to adapt into that character, because I've never ever had that challenge in my life of actually going so deep into a different character, which is completely opposite to me, you know? For me, it was a challenge, but at the same time, I've learned a lot about myself. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, I'm evil enough. <laughs> Shooting a movie is completely different. Like, you know, you're on set for long hours, 12 to 13 hours, you know, it's cold. You need to keep, constantly keep your body warm and, you know, so that you don't have injuries. We were also, all the girls were on point shoes, so, you know, warming up your feet, keeping your ankles warm, that was all like, things to think about besides the acting and besides getting into the character but just as a dancer so you know doing class on set before we shoot and all those things like 
played a big part in my whole process and it obviously takes much more time than an actor because, you know, an actor just goes maybe over their lines or, you know, um, whereas in we have to use our whole bodies to express ourselves. So it was quite a challenge. I mean, there were a few injuries, there were sore feet and sore muscles and spasms and, but we kind of just had to fight, we had to fight through it so that we can produce the best work. <laughs> I have choreographed for all seven warriors. I've had the help of James assisting with the pas de deux work within the warriors. Creating for seven different bodies has been challenging in the way that I had to encapsulate every single person's essence because no one moves alike. You have Yellow who's very vibrant. He's very new age. Um, very quirky almost in a sense. And it was great fun doing his work because I would give him an idea and the way he would feed off it is to breathe life into the idea. And I would be like, that's exactly what was in my head. My name is Henk Opperman. Uh, I play the role of Yellow in Iris Warriors. When I read the character description, I thought it was so funny. I was like, this is me though. Like <laughs> that character and those challenges that Yellow has, even in just that short little description, that he, as a being, has, is me. So when, when Delia started um, saying, okay, this is the brief. You, you are the character, you've just been born, you are fascinated with your hands, you're fascinated with what you can create. You are suddenly like, you're discovering like how to move. Now go. Then that became the motivation for, for the movement, which was so much fun because then, then for me and my character, I had who, the, who my character was, but then I also had a little bit to play more with the storyline to create movement vocabulary for myself, which made it very, very interesting. And I mean, it seemed like Royden loved it and just ran with that, you know? It's been a challenge, but it's been extremely enjoyable trying to divulge each person's personality. You know, when you watch the dancers, there, there's parts of them that become childlike on stage, but in such a beautiful, interpretation and it's a, a good reminder as an artist as well that if you sometimes if you think like a grown-up then you don't necessarily get the creativity that a child would have and I think that's definitely what comes out for me is a reminder to be a child at heart. There are these really, really deep overarching themes that, that run through us that are universal and I think you know everybody pretty much on this planet can relate to that in some way. It, there's a really beautiful message behind it. So a period piece with a dance element and a lovely message, I thought this is something I really should be part of. Nice to be offered an opportunity to work on such an interesting project and to be able to be part of something that's um, new and different and unusual and unique. <laughs> Right now I'm excited. I think all the elements are in place. I can't wait to get going tomorrow. It's, it's for me when I thrive, I thrive underneath, uh, within the, those ingredients of, of, I don't know, within the chaos there's, there's, um, there's calm. The calm moment in sense. the center of it. Yeah. I mean, filmmaking is collaborative and filmmaking is advanced problem solving. Mm. Um, as long as you know that going in, mm. there are things that are gonna come up that we're gonna have to deal with and we'll deal with them. Um, yeah. But it, it'll come together, as, as Royden said. It won't necessarily be exactly the way we envision it right now, and if you ask us the same question a month from now, there will be things that have changed. Mm. But whatever it is, we'll deal with it. The question was how I feel about tomorrow, and that's all I'm thinking about is tomorrow. I'm not thinking about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm just thinking about tomorrow, making tomorrow count as, as, as best I can and get as much as I can in camera with the limited time that I have to do it in.